Hey everyone, Technomancer here with a video for you guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to download and install the update for your Realtek HD audio driver on your Windows computer. So let's get started. This method will work on Windows 11 and 10 as well. So very first thing that you're going to do is go into the search bar, open up your Windows, and we're going to search for Device Manager. So it's going to be a program that manages the devices here. So we're going to go ahead and open that up. And once you open it up, we're going to look in this over here and you're going to look for this specific option for sound and video and game controller. So we're going to expand this menu. And right here, as you can see here, I have the Realtek Audio here. You might see it under a different name, but basically you're going to right click on this and then click on properties. When you click on properties, a couple things here. We can go to driver here and it'll give you an update detail on it was last update of the updated version as well. Now what you can try to do is see if there's an update on your computer already, possibly already downloaded. So you can click on download update and then if you have it, browse for it or automatically search for it. And it can look to see if there's a driver available. As you can see here, you already have the best one, but there might be a update that you can download. So if this method doesn't update it for you, the other method you're gonna want to do is exit out of this here you're going to go to your favorite browser here so i'm going to go to chrome here and you're going to search up a real tech audio driver so when you search it up the very first link should be a download link to their actual website for the hd audio codex software so you're going to click on that or navigate to their website and look for this section here when you get there you're going to see for windows right you're going to look for an executable file here it says Windows 10, but this also works with Windows 11. You can see basically the time it was updated. So this update is a 2024 update, and then the size of it. And then you're gonna click on this download option, and you're gonna go ahead and agree to the terms and condition, and then click on download file, and then put the gotcha in to begin the download. So as you can see here, we'll go ahead and type that in and hit download. What will happen is after you do that, it will begin the download process. Now, keep in mind, I find that this website is super slow. It took me about one hour to download 248 megs or so, even though I have a really high speed internet. So you have to be patient with it. If you lock the screen or move away, it's gonna fail the download. So let it download. And once you download here, you're gonna go to basically find your downloads here. So you'll see here, I have it here already downloaded. I've been working on this download. It's gonna be executable. You're gonna go ahead and open up that executable, right? Or look for it in your file. And you're gonna say basically yes. And it's gonna basically work your way through updating it. So here, you're gonna follow the menu basically. Just uh, follow the prompt as it opens up the file. And then you're gonna go ahead and walk through this install wizard basically. So here. Uh, it's installing and basically all of the packages and needs and it's already running please wait for instant and you can see here the update is happening just let it go ahead and let it do its thing here and then you're going to go ahead and hit next next and then it will begin the process to update the driver here And then for the final uninstalling of the driver, you'll need to restart your computer and you want to reinstall the driver. So we'll go ahead and finish OK and it will restart your computer because it is a driver for it to go ahead and actually work. So updates are underway. So we're going to keep your computer on. Make sure you have connected to a power or you have good battery percentage because this could take some time.
and then I'm gonna log back into the computer here. And we're gonna hit through the next process here. So we're gonna basically it installs and then goes and installs the new driver part of the reboot process. So as long as you're following through, it will go ahead and do what it needs to do. and then it installed a new driver and you have to restart one more time here and then so the first restart was uninstalling and restarts and then installs again so we're gonna go ahead and restart and basically after the restart the driver is updated and you're good to go so I hope this video was helpful. So please consider the like and subscribe button for more tips and tricks for your computer. We'll see you guys next time.